Ladies and gentlemen, we welcome you to Kingdom Life Ministries International. Dr. T.S. Mligwe here in this telecast. I'm coming to say, wow, thank you very much for watching our telecast. We see in the statistics that you guys are watching all out there as we share the word to help you in this life and in the life to come as a child of God. God bless you real good. You are most welcome. Today I want to talk about uh, making choices of life. Making choices in life. We're reading from uh, Deuteronomy chapter 30. Two verses. Verse 15 says, See, they have said before thee this day life and good and death and evil. Verse 15 says, I call heaven and earth to record this day against you that I have set before you life and death, blessing and cursing. Therefore choose. Choose. All right, verse 15 says, See, I've said before thee, this day, uh, life and good, death and life, choose. Now, God, ladies and gentlemen, has given us the freedom of choice. You were created to be a free moral agent. You were created to be free to choose to do what you want with the life that God gave you. God did not give you life to live it like a robot or a street light where you, it is controlled but he, he says, you control your life. Uh, you, you do what you like. You choose what you like. Let's listen to Jesus talking about the same thing, but a little bit differently. In, in, in Matthew chapter 7, verses 21 to 27, the Bible said, Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, listen, and doeth them, them what? Them things I teach. I will liken him unto a wise man which built his house upon a rock, and the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon the house, and it fell not. It fell not, for it was founded upon a rock. Verse 26. And everyone that heareth these things of mine, and doeth them not, and doeth them not, and choose not to do it, shall be likened unto a foolish man which builds his house upon the sand. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon their house, and it fell, and great was the fall of it. Ladies and gentlemen, we're learning from these two scriptures that God has given us freedom of choice. Man is created in Genesis 1.26. God says, let us create man in our image and our likeness. So to show that we are like God, we got free choice. Everything that God has said and did, he was not told to do it by anybody or anything. It was his free will to choose to do that. So I'm here to say you are a free moral agent. You are a free being. You choose what you want and if you choose the wrong thing, God will not strike you with lightning. If you choose the wrong thing, he will not shoot you. If you choose the wrong, the, the wrong thing, he will not cause an accident, a car accident for you so that you die. No! God will let you choose what you want. He says, I've put, good, I've put life and death, blessing and cursing. You choose. Verse 9 says, well, I suggest you choose life so that you will live and your children shall also live. Watch this. Jesus says, if anybody hears what I say and does it. Now, to do it is a choice. He doesn't say, if anybody hears what I say, become afraid and then do it out of fear. No, 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 no. He says, you hear and you choose to do it. He says, if you choose to do it. Now, listen. If, he says, if anybody hears what I say and you, 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 you choose to do it. Now, what does, what, what, does the, what does the Bible mean by saying Jesus said? Now, this is Jesus, my friends. This is called the Word of God. In Revelation, Jesus is called the Word of God, which means this is Jesus in paper form, which means when you hear Jesus speaking, that is the Word of God. When the Word of God speaks, that's Jesus speaking to you. Are you hearing what I'm saying? When you hear the Word, it is Jesus speaking. He says, now, when I preach I know man is a free moral agent. You will have to make a choice to do what I say or you choose not to do what I say. All right? And if you don't choose what I say, if you don't choose to do what I say, 
I will not kill you. I'll not beat you. But because every choice has got results, you will get the results possibly before you die and after you, you are dead. It's obvious the results will catch up with you and the results will be damnation if you choose not to do what I say. He says, now if you choose to do what I say, I would liken you to be to a wise man who builds his house. Who builds his house. What's your house? Your house is your Christianity. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Your house is your Christianity. Your Christianity is your house. It's a place where you are safe. It's a place of comfort. It's a place of divine protection. But the Bible says, you get that when you choose to do what Jesus says, which means the word of God. Are you listening to me? He says, now, if you choose to do what I say, I will liken you to a wise man. He says in life, there are three things that will come your way, whether you like it or not, you believe it or not. It is the ra He said the rains will come, the floods will come, the winds will come. All three things will hit against your, your, your house, which means your Christian life, which means when you're a Christian child of God, you will have challenges of, diff of different sorts. You will have challenges of different kinds. There will be things that will hit your Christianity. There will be things that will beat against your Christianity. Now, if it is founded on the sand, it will fall. Listen, there are people who have left Jesus, they've left the church because they say, no, Christianity is difficult. No, 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 no. Christianity, I, I can't. Christianity is now they choose to serve the devil as if to serve the devil is safer. The Bible says, Three things come to a person's life, saved or unsaved. The rains, the floods, the winds, and they beat against your life. Now, if your life is built on the rock, which is Jesus, the Bible says he's the rock that the, 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 the builders despised, and yet he's the cornerstone. The cornerstone in the olden days was the only stone that will keep the house together. It will keep the house from falling. Now the Bible says there's another guy who chooses not to do it. Watch this. Not because it's difficult. Not because it's hard. Not because it's impossible. Not because of the devil. Not because they tried and failed. They don't just choose to do it. The Bible says if anybody who hears my word and does not do it by what? By choice. By choice. Jesus says, this one, I will liken them to a fool who builds on the sand. What's that? That means you build your life. You, 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 you support your life with the sand. The sand, when the rains come and the winds and the floods come and the winds blow, the sand will give way. And when the sand gives way, this house must fall. There's no choice about it. If your house is not on a strong foundation called the rock called Jesus, when the things of life becomes bad, you, they, you are definitely going to fall. But listen to this. That fall is a result of a wrong choice. The one who, do, who does what Jesus says, it's a choice. The one who chooses not to do what Jesus says, is another choice. So I don't know what you have chosen in life. I don't know upon what is your life built, your Christianity. I don't know. Listen, the Bible says those who do it, it's a choice. It's not because they're lucky. It's not because they have, God favors them. No, it's a choice. And Paul says, I can do all things through, the, uh, the, through Christ who, who strengthens me. So if Paul could do it by the strength of Jesus or by the ability of Jesus or by the help of Jesus it means if you choose to do what Jesus says you will also be able to do it are you hearing what I'm saying now blaming the devil my friend doesn't help you Bla saying well it is the devil uh, it is the devil uh, it is the devil God doesn't want to hear that because he knows he gave you the freedom of choice it is not the devil who must decide for you you can decide what the devil likes, but it is not the devil who decides for you because you are a free moral agent. Listen, even if it is God, when you make a wrong choice, God will not kill you. He will not strike you with lightning. He will not cause a, a, an accident for you, a motor accident. He won't do that because he's love. 
He is gracious. He's full of grace and mercy. But he knows. He knows you will get the results of your choice of choosing not to do what Jesus says. Isn't that terrible? Because, now look, people know what God says they must do. But they choose not to do it. They just choose not to do it. Not because it's hard. Not because it's impossible. Not because they've tried and failed. No, they don't just want it. They don't want to do what Jesus says. Why? Because the Bible says the message of the cross is foolishness to them that are lost. Are you hearing this? So people think to do what Jesus says is being stupid. For some men to love their wives, uh, to love their wife and look, live for them and bless them and help them is foolish, especially if the wife is hard, is a, is hard headed, is hard headed, or it's, 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 it's just stubborn. Some men think if you love a, your wife, well, it's just like you're being a fool. Your wife will play with you. Gentlemen. If that's what you are believing, you're not believing what the Bible says. And it's a wrong choice. Because God wants you to love your wife no matter how she is, no matter what she does, no matter what she says, God says love her. You understand? So, the same applies with you ladies. I can't I can, I can, I, I can do that. I, I, I can't stand that man. That, 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 that. That, no, ladies, you, God said respect your husband. He says, obey your husband. He didn't say if he's nice, nice. If he's, he's, he's this, this, and he's this which you want, and he's like this. If your husband cannot do what God says, what about you doing what you say? If your husband does not listen to God, what makes you think he must listen to you? Tell me why. Why, why do you think so? It's a bad choice, mama. To say I cannot obey my husband, I cannot, I cannot respect my, my husband because, because of because and because and because and because. You're just saying that it's a foolish choice. Because then what God told you to do, God cannot say do something that will harm you. He cannot say do something to torment you or to terrorize you or to mess you up. God will never do that. Children, when God says obey your parents, honor your parents. He says only then I'll bless you. Only then I will give you long life. He's saying so young people because he knows he will, you will be blessed. But if you choose not to, love, to honor your parents because they're like that or because they don't do that and because of because and because of because. Listen young people you are choosing your future to be dark. Go read Proverbs chapter 20 verse 20. It will tell you that if you mess up with mom and dad, you are, you are heading for a dark future. Even if you are educated, even if you got your master's degrees from different fields of studies, or you got PhDs in different areas, you, um, you will march into a dark future. Listen to me. It is the word of God. It is Jesus speaking. So why do people choose the opposite of what God says. Of course it goes the full influence of the devil. It is good the influence of the devil. It's obvious. But the devil never forces anybody. The devil never forces anybody. It's our choice. We cooperate with the devil. But we want to go to heaven. It doesn't work that way. I'm about to close. Listen to this. The Bible says, when you choose to do what God says, you are wise. He says, when the winds of life come, of course they will hit your house, but because it's upon the rock, Jesus, your Christianity will stand the test of time. No matter what, people will wonder why you are still standing if they heard that you went through A, B, C, D, up to Z, but you never fail. It is because your life is built on the rock called Jesus. There is safety there. The, the rock doesn't move. No matter how big the floods are, the rock doesn't move. But sand, but sand, when big floods come, they go with the, with the, with the floods. And what happens? The house also falls. The house also falls. That's why we see a lot of backsliders. They, they were hit by the things of this life. 
and because they were on the sand, easy life that I live as I please. I don't care about what God says, blah, blah, blah. I'm enjoying, I'm having fun. I'm enjoying life. Yeah, you know, you know when, you are, when, you, when you live like a, as a Christian obeying the word, you are stupid and all that. You miss the fun, the parties, and the what, what. Listen, that's an easy life of a moment. It's, 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 it's momentary. It is, it's, 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 it's just for a little while. But ladies and gentlemen, there's an eternity that we are going to after this life. When we have disobeyed God here, there is a life that's going to be eternal that we are going to. I don't know what you're going to say. I don't know if you're going to say to God, no, no, it is because uh, to do what your word said was difficult. Is that what you're going to say? If you say that, what do you expect God to say? To say, oh, is it? Oh, was it difficult? All right. Come in. I understand. Do you expect God to do that? When Jesus hung on the cross crying, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? When his son went through that for you, and now you don't want to go through nothing. All you want is to just obey God and then go to heaven. I don't know where you got that from. Probably from the devil. Knowing he knows they are results of bad choices. When you choose not to do what God says, when you choose not to do what the Bible says, you have built your Christian life or your Christianity or your life in general upon the sand. And when you fall, we won't be surprised. May God help you as you meditate on things like this. As you are taught these things when you're still alive. God bless you. Let's pray. Daddy, thank you that we have time to teach and share the word with your people. I know I'm talking to myself. And I'm also talking to those that are watching all over the world. And I thank you, Lord, for those who are overseas who are hearing this and watching this telecast. I pray, God, in the name of Jesus, that we shall choose to do what Jesus says. Because that has got a future as a result. Thank you very much, lady, that you will help us. You're not teaching us this to make us feel guilty. But you are, you are help teaching us these things so that we'll be convicted, repent, and start to do what Jesus says. Thank you, Daddy, that you will help us, those who choose to do what Jesus says. The Holy Spirit will help them, and they will succeed. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Ladies and gentlemen, that was Dr. T.S. Mliwe from Kingdom Life Ministry saying, I'll see you next Sunday. God bless you richly. Amen.